Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again. This is part two and we're learning here from the great spiritual teacher Anthony DeMello. And in the first video, we talked about his idea, his main starting point in all this is the acceptance of the fact that my life is in a mess. Okay, not to be in denial about the fact that for a huge portion of my life I'm going through negative emotions, right? Not to minimize that. To accept that it's a big issue okay here's number two number two and maybe this is even harder right this is even harder not only is your life in a mess but you don't want to be happy you don't want to be happy again what we're going to experience when we hear this is denial this is even more denial in fact than the first one what do you mean I don't want to be happy? Of course I want to be happy. How dare you say I don't want to be happy? Okay, what's he talking about here when he says we don't want to be happy? One of the examples he gives, and this is true, guys. I can tell you this is true. I think most psychotherapists would say this. Most people, when they seek help to change, or to um, for an issue want one thing and it's not happiness it's subtle it's not happiness what they really want is for the pain to end notice I said the pain to end not to f identify and uproot and change the cause of the pain okay that's quite a different thing he gives the image of most people are like a man in a pool of SH1T, we'll say, and they're up to here, okay, up to here in that stuff. And what they're asking someone is, don't pull me out of here, which would be the logical, rational thing to do. They're saying, please, can you stop people making waves? Okay, so they want to sort of a, to minimize a crisis situation rather than to end the thing that caused the crisis to begin with, fundamental change. So we're afraid of fundamental change is what he's saying here. You don't really want to be happy. Even bigger, here's another way we can know that we don't really want to be happy. We don't have happiness as the thing we value most in life. Ask yourself that question. Do you value happiness more than anything else in life? Because if you did, you'd have it. How do we know that? Well, what would you give up for happiness? What if I was to say to you that you can be happy right now? I will give you a wave a magic wand and I guarantee you, you will be 100% at peace and happy but you have to give up your job. You have to give up um, making the amount of money you're currently making. Maybe say you're making 50 or 60 grand a year. Instead, you're only gonna make 15. Would you do it for happiness? Would you give up that person in your life? Maybe you're in a relationship with that person. Would you end the relationship with that person and never see them again? if it meant you could be happy. This is what we mean. Now, of course, spirituality isn't about doing that, right? It's not, no one ever asks you to sacrifice anything. Well, they shouldn't. It's not about sacrifice, never should be. But it does show us something. It's that, no, actually, I'd prefer to be miserable in the relationship than be happy even if you're not currently miserable in a relationship, but I prefer to be miserable in the things that I possess or the things that I'm attached to than to be happy. Now, what happens eventually is, over time, we acquire things, things go, we become attached to things, and we experience emotional pain. And over time, we begin to realize it's sort of a dance, it's an ebb and flow. And the one thing that can be constant in life, should we choose it to be, is happiness. 
So we start to, there's a reevaluation that goes on. And sometimes there can be an awful lot of emotional pain that needs to happen in a person's life before they make that decision. And that's fine. That's the way it is. But the whole point of, I think, his teachings is to help you speed up that process by being aware of this issue. To start examining right now, before any sense of loss or pain comes about, what am I attached to? Can I become less attached to it and start to choose a more sort of a free way to be, um, a more happy, peaceful way to be as the goal rather than the things or the outcomes that I'm attached to? So have a think about that. Do you want to be happy? Do you value happiness above everything else? Guys, thanks again so much for watching this short video talking about Anthony DeMello. Um, and the next video is another of his major teachings. Um, if you like this video, just maybe consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. Um, it really helps me to get these videos out there. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. All the best.